Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm PSC Programming using Calysis. In this video, I'm going to introduce Node-RED and show you how to create a connection between Node-RED and a Calysis PSC and exchange data between the two. So after watching this video tutorial, you will learn how to download and install Node-RED, how to create your first flow and user interface, and how to make the connection between Calysis and Node-RED and how to exchange the data between the two. If this is your first time watching my video, please make sure to check out my roadmap video where you will find a categorized list of videos which will help you to navigate through all my video tutorials. The link to the video can be found in the description of this video. Please also don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and share the video with your network. I hope you enjoy watching and following this video tutorial. Let's get started. I asked Google Bart, what is the Node-RED in simple terms? Here is the answer that I got. Node-RED is a flu-based programming tool for wiring together hardware devices, APIs, and online services in new and interesting ways. It provides a browser-based flu editor that makes it easy to wire together flows using the wide range of nodes in the palette that can be deployed to its runtime in a single click. It will allow you to create programs by connecting nodes together. Moreover, for each node there will be a given functionality. You can get data from a sensor, send data to a database, or perform a calculation for example. In addition, as you will see, to connect the nodes together to create a flow, it will be easily done by clicking and dragging using a mouse. It's becoming a popular tool for creating industrial IoT applications, but it could also be used for a variety of other reasons. To start working with Node-RED, the first thing to have is to install Node.js. If you browse nodejs.org, you will be able to find out the latest version of Node.js. Please click on it download it and then install it as regular software. The next step is to install Node-RED. If you check the website of Node-RED at node-red.org, you will find a lot of information including tutorials, the first steps to take, installation and working with it. In the getting started, since I'm not going to use any external device, I choose running locally and since I'm using Windows, I will follow this link. All the required steps are explained here. As I already have the Node.js installed, I will run a command window and use this command to check the version of the Node.js installed in my system. For that, I need to run the command window as an administrator and run this command. The versions of Node.js and npm are shown now. As the next step, I will install Node.red. For that, I copy this command and run it in the command window. Now, Node.red is being installed on my system. After the installation is over, to run Node-RED, I need to type node-red in my command window and keep this command window open, as long as Node-RED is in use. To access the editor, we need to follow this URL. The area to develop the Node-RED application is now opened in a browser window. It is called as a flow, and the default name is flow1, which could be changed. Here we have the palette where we have all the nodes categorized. We can also import additional nodes as needed. Since we are going to use OPC UA as a communication standard between Node-RED and Calysis PLC, we need to add the required nodes. For that, we can follow this menu, choose the Manage palette, and type OPC UA. The one that we need to have is this one, a Node-RED node to communicate via OPC UA based on Node OPC UA library. Please click on install. The next set of nodes that I'm going to add is called dashboard. And this is the one that we are going to use in order to have our user interface created. Please install the one shown here. Now you can see that our OPC UA and dashboard nodes are installed and appear in separate categories. On the Codices side, I have created a project declared four variables, added the symbol configuration, and enabled OPC UA communication. The project is running on the Codices Control Win virtual PLC. 
I'm also using UA Expert as an OPC UA client to monitor the variables. We have all four variables added here and for each one we have the attributes which could be shown from the view menu. We will need the information in the node ID field. Please check out my video on OPC UA to learn the details about using Kalisys PSC as an OPC UA server. In our flow in Node-RED, to set up OPC UA communication, we need to insert an OPC UA client node. In the properties of the node, endpoint is the address of the OPC UA server, and we choose read for the action, as we are going to read the value of a variable. We then need to add an OPC UA item node. With this node, we determine the variable to be read. Connect the output of this node to the input of the OPC UA client node. In the properties of this node, in the item field, copy and paste the value from the node ID field of UA expert for each variable. I'm changing the variable name to bvar01 and set the type to boolean. In the name field, I'm using boolean var01. The next step is to determine how often we want to read the value. For that, we need an inject node in the flow and connect it to the OPC UA item. By default, in the run mode, we can click on the left side of the inject node and initiate the reading process. We also need a debug node to show the value of the variable that we read. We are ready now to deploy our flow and run it. Each time that I click on the left side of the inject node, we read the value of the boolean variable. Here I'm changing the value of the variable in the codices and reading the value from the node read side. We can change the properties of the inject node and determine an interval for injecting the message. As you may see here, a reading of the value is performed every one second. Please pay attention to the timestamps. As the next action, let's write a value to a variable. I make a copy of the OPC UA client node and change action to write. For the OPC UA item, I'm using bvar02 with the name of boolean var02. We can place a debug node as well, and to determine the value to be written, I'm going to use a button node and connect it to the OPC UA item. In the properties of the button node, I'm choosing default for the group. You can add a new group and use it, and this will create a new group of items in the dashboard. I'm setting the label to boolean var02. In the payload property, I choose boolean and set the value to true. It means that whenever the button is clicked in the dashboard, a true value will be sent through this node and it will be written into the boolean var02 variable. Since I have made changes to the flow, I need to deploy again. Since I used a node from the dashboard, we will have access to the user interface now which could be accessed through this menu. Choose Dashboard and click on this icon to open the dashboard in a new window. In our dashboard, for now, we have only one group which contains a button with the shown label. Whenever I click on the button, the true value will be written into the corresponding variable in the codices side. As another option to determine the value for the boolean variable, we can use a switch node. Give it a name and pay attention to the when clicked field which provides both true and false values depending on the state of the switch. I copy and paste the other three nodes and deploy the flow. In the user interface, now we have the switch added and with it we can control the value of the boolean variable. To write into an integer variable, I duplicate these three nodes and change the item field of this node such that I refer to integer variable iVar01. I also need to change the type into int16 and the name field to integer var01. To provide an integer value, I use the numeric node and connect it to the item node. As the label, I use integer var01, determine the minimum, maximum and step values and deploy the flow. Now in the dashboard, you will have an additional item, as you see here, and I can change the value of the integer variable using this item. Now let's try to read the value of a real variable. 
I'm copying and pasting these three nodes, changing the action field of the OPC UA client node to read. I also need to change the item field in the OPC UA item node to replace iWare01 with rWare01 and set the type to float and update the name field. I use an inject node to read the value every one second. I'm also going to add a gauge node from the dashboard and connect it to the OPC UA client node, putting it into a new group in the dashboard. I also update the label and the value range. In the dashboard, we have the gauge in a new group and it shows us the value of the rear variable or var01 as I change the value on the codices side. The actual value is shown numerically as well. Okay, that's all for this tutorial. I hope you have enjoyed following the tutorial and have learned how to set up the node red create a communication path between Node-RED and Codices, and read and write variables from the Node-RED side. Please don't forget to like the video, write a comment, subscribe to the channel, and share the video with your network. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye for now.